Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. I've got a great day of sales today. Continuing updates on the story we've been talking about lately. Also have an interesting topic that I guess kind of somewhat relates, but it's something I'm asked often. Decided to do a little bit of research on it. I'm still a little bit confused, but I want to get your opinion on it. Plus add in a few things that I've learned over time. And we've got a bunch of really cool sales, plus some more bubble wrap giveaways today. We're going to do one more today, one more on each of the next, I think, 10 episodes still. I'm excited about that. We'll tell you the winner for today. And about 20 sales for just under 700 bucks. Let's take a look. Hello everybody, I'm going to jump in here really quick at the beginning of the video to tell you that at the end of the video, I'm going to make a few comments, a few statements. I need to get a few things off my chest about Supply Hut. And I told you I would stay transparent and keep you updated through the process. I know a lot of you don't care. That's okay. I care. And I'm going to make some comments at the end of the video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch Monday's video and check that out and you'll know. All right, me and Wallen went inside to get some of these clothes. I don't normally do clothes at the beginning of an episode because a lot of people don't find it all that fun. But these are some cool ones that I picked up. I'm checking prices That's why I'm standing over here. And I sold three things here for pretty decent money. This one right here, let me get the prices right. Make sure I'm telling you the right stuff. $30 plus shipping for this Tennessee sweatshirt, this vintage Tennessee. This is University of Tennessee Chattanooga right here and that is a sweet old tag right there you'll notice it's not cleaned it's not sparkly it doesn't have all the stains out of it and it still sells and it sold for 30 what did i say 30 dollars plus shipping for that one right there and then we sold this one this t-shirt sold for like 27 and change plus shipping it says boris if a chimp can fly a spaceship but on the front it's no fear racing and it is, I believe, a vintage tag as well. Although, maybe not. And it is not single stitch. So, that one I just put out there because it just was nowhere else. What, are you mad? Because there's no treats? I'll go get you a treat. And this one is pretty cool too. This one sold for 20... No, it didn't. It sold for... Now I've got it all messed up here. Oh, this is the Poshmark sale. This one sold on Poshmark for $15 plus shipping. Wallen is all upset in here because there's no treats. But you know why there's no treats? It's because you came in here and stole them and took them outside and they got rained on. You're a little thief. But I'll still go get you some more treats. Made in the USA, our text tag. And then there's one more. Let me grab it real quick. And somehow animals can communicate because I went back in to get the other shirt. And what are you doing to poor Sophie, huh? What are you doing? And I think Wallen told Sophie. I don't know. Maybe she just sensed it. That there was more treats to come. Which, of course, there is. Middle Tennessee State University. And this is a sweet vintage shirt. Obviously got Snoopy on it. And it sold for $34 plus shipping. And it's also on an Artex tag right there. Made in the USA. That one was pretty cool. I kind of set the market at this one myself. And I thought this one sold on Poshmark. But I was wrong. This is the one that sold on Poshmark. And we're happy to have those sales right there. So that is like $106 worth of sales. Plus shipping right there and that's on clothing and i know a lot of people just don't do it but i like to do the clothing that i like to do if that makes sense if you've watched the show for a while you know i don't love selling shoes but you know when an opportunity strikes you got to grab it sometimes and these shoes were a pretty good deal i think i might even pay ten dollars for these i can't remember what i paid but they sold for 65 dollars these women women's running shoes right there and they had never been used at all there is no box but 65 bucks plus shipping. In light of the conversations we've been having lately about transparency and all that stuff, I wanted to take up a question. It was actually inspired by a different question. I think it was Roxanne who asked the question. They had a concern about whatnot, about whatnot charging a tax on the shipping. And that's a little variation of the question that I want to get into, but it's, you know, it gets a little complicated, but some states apparently require that you charge tax on a delivery if it's all one bundle deal. And some states don't. And Roxanne said that she lived in a state that doesn't and they were still requiring it or something. I can't remember. I don't want to do you justice out there. And I'm looking into that issue as well. But 
This other question is something I get all the time and it surprises new sellers to eBay. And I thought I had it right, so but I started doing a little research and I started to doubt myself and then it looks like I think it is correct. So that is, does eBay charge a fee, your final value fee essentially? Well, people all the time, well, it's not fair to do it on the shipping charges, but if you've been around long enough, you know that people used to sell things for 99 cents and like $150 shipping. And so I can kind of understand eBay charging on shipping, at least in the format that they do shipping now. If they did shipping in a different way where the flat fee was paid by the platform or something, then I think people might have a little bit of an argument. And of course, we all sign this agreement to sell on eBay and kind of live by their rules. But this is about eBay charging a final value fee on the sales tax. And of course, if you live in a state with no sales tax and you're buying something, then well, buying, it doesn't matter. If you're selling to somebody who lives in a state without sales tax, then they're not paying that sales tax. Therefore, you're not paying a final value fee on the sales tax. And I think some people are arguing that that's just part of the 30 cent processing fee. But as far as the way I read it, it's not. I think we had this debate quite a while back when they were moving people into managed payments that they were going to charge that final, final value fee on the taxes as well, which can be pretty expensive, especially if you're sending something to California with high taxes. You're going to be paying, you know, whatever, 12%, 13%, whatever it is, 14, 15, depending on what item you're selling it in, you're going to be paying that on the taxes collected as well. And so please correct me down below if you think I'm wrong, but I think I'm right about this. It's the assumption I've always worked off of is that the final value fee was, was of the item selling the taxes on the item and the shipping on the item and they all got covered under the processing fee which is i think probably how and why they do it but you know is it great do i like it no i don't know the solution unless you can convince your state to drop the sales tax or to eliminate it or to lower it or something it's not ideal but it definitely is a factor for sure and you know i do understand and i know some people don't agree with me on this especially if you're new to ebay you know, they shouldn't charge it on shipping either. I, I kind of get that some, what I didn't know and I've kind of learned here is that some, some states require taxes on the delivery as well, which surprised me a little bit, unless I'm misreading that. Over, over 30 states, I think I might be, no, actually I might be conflating two issues. One of them is what states charge sales tax versus what states require sales tax to be collected on a delivery fee, if you want to call it that fulfillment i don't know there's all kinds of different language for it but um yeah if you're new to ebay they charge you on shipping and they charge you on taxes as well so there's my answer to the question hopefully that helps you I may mean, not like the answer but i believe that is the answer i've got a sale here something i used to pick up all the time when i'd find them and now i pick them up for sure because they're going for a little bit more than they used to not a whole ton but this even meets the 15 dollars requirement plus shipping you know and i pick these up all the time and there's different hookups but these older ones now that that apple's not using if you can find them new in the package you usually get them for 50 cents or a dollar people will get rid of them because they don't use them or having their little bluetooth or something but these old wired ones that is old folks like me use this one sold pretty quick for four i'm gonna go for 14 dollars and 90 cents plus shipping and you know that's a decent little profit if you can pick it up for 50 cents right there and always make sure that the apple product is on the back right there and we've got an inaman sale and as i pick it up you know in light uh we talk about the fees and a lot of what we talk about lately about resellers being pinched in every direction and you know there's not everything we can control unfortunately but there are some things we can control and i just want everybody to know i'm still committed in going the right direction trying to make sure that uh things that have happened here in the past in the past few weeks few days are continually let's say improving and it, it looks to me that they are you know I, i'm not perfect and i'm gonna make mistakes along the way and not everybody's gonna agree with me but i appreciate the support of so many people who have sent me kind words through this especially if you know me because you know how how this stuff affects me but i don't want to go into great detail on that right now but i will continue to give you updates and we're going to give away some bubble wrap here in a minute but before we do that this in a man sold to Lori. thank you Lori. hi kevin enjoy the flipper and picker channels as well as trash cash podcast i don't know who would like that but thank you i appreciate that i've learned so much from all your videos started reselling last year but i had to take some time off to help family members 
and had a knee surgery of my own. I'm finally getting back to tackling my death pile. Hopefully this guy gets things moving for us. Lori Lulu's Fabulous Finds. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much. And I hope this guy gets things moving for you. And I've got the name all picked out, ready to go. Not a name I'm familiar with, but we're going to give you some free bubble wrap. And anybody who wins any of these over the next coming weeks, uh, send me an email, commonwealthpicker at gmail.com, and we will give you the code, and you can go to American Bubble Boy and get a free roll. 700 feet, y'all, all of it, all 700 feet from American Bubble Boy <laughs> of bubble wrap. And thank you again for Joel, to Joel for doing that, and I'll continue to update on folks that have used Supply Hut and what they're doing to uh, make up for the shortages as well. So here we go. All right, oh, name is, what do I got here? Mindy Steiniger, S-T-E-I-N-I-G-E-R. Let me know in an uh, email to commonwealthpicker at gmail.com and we'll get you 700 feet of bubble wrap compliments of Joel at American Bubble Boy. And thank you as well to all the folks who have gone over there and got some, used our link. I don't care whose link you use. It doesn't matter to me whatsoever. Um, but it is awesome that uh, he's kind of leading the way in this right here. He is a really good guy. And, you know, business is tough. Running businesses are tough. And he is um, definitely one of the folks that I trust for sure. So, all right. And I'm not getting a dime for saying that, just FYI, for all my critics out there. Out there. Let's see here. Let me make sure I get the right ones. Hollywood. Hulk Hogan. And I don't want to continue to belabor this, and I won't. I'll just give you the updates, I promise, when I give them to you. But um, I do know that Supply is taking action, and as of this point, it, it's never going to be enough for some. Um, but it is definitely what I like to see at this point. So, And I've done what I can, and will continue to do more. Including, if you didn't see in the last episode, all the money that we do, me, and all future revenue from any partnerships is all going back into anything and everything we can do. So, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, two of these sold, just like last show. So these are selling way better than the other ones. Maybe I should up this price a little bit and lower those prices a little bit. I'm not quite sure. These skull caps are going for right around 15 bucks. I think just under 14 dollars and well, one point for 14.20 because it went out on offer. But I think they're listed for $14.95. And one of the two went to a viewer, went to John. Hi, Kevin. Still like your content. Keep doing what you're doing. Greetings to you and your family. John from the Netherlands. John, thank you. I really do appreciate that. This next one here was, I'm so glad it's sold. Next on my cutting list, really, I was doing some purging from the back end of my store. And these have been on the store for a long time. So they wouldn't have lasted too much longer. And they probably would end up in the antique booth, but they sold here these grape salt and pepper. Look, they've even got dust on them. They've been there so long. Grape salt and pepper shakers. Got it from the 127 sale two years ago, which, by the way, go check out Old School Picker. And what's the podcast? Two Old Guys podcast. Sorry, Chris, I can't remember the name of your podcast. Go check it out. And they are having a meetup at 127 this year, even though I'm not going to go this year to 127 but next time i come guys i'll be there these are the third viewer sale of the day maybe the last of the day and they went to jacob i just recently started my youtube journey j ride so the letter j ride one word flips i draw a lot of inspiration from your channel and would love any tips for someone just starting bought these for my wife's grandmother who collects salt shakers very very cool i appreciate that so assuming you mean youtube advice which I don't really give on this channel very much because it doesn't apply to the whole audience. But if you send me an email and put that in the title there, put your name to J Ride. I can't remember. What did you say it was? J Ride Flips. I will try to answer it on there for you. And as I say, there are three viewer sales today. I see another one. It doesn't have a message, but I recognize the name. And I'm not going to mention the name because they didn't leave a message and they usually would. But I just know that you are... Uh, thanking me and supporting me through this like you always do i really appreciate you and this sale right here this coach bag is 44 dollars and 90 cents although it may have gone out on a discount 42.70 plus shipping right there and that one didn't get removed i had those coach sunglasses that got removed for being fake but all the other coach stuff that i've bought lately and sold apparently 
is the real deal, and it sure feels like it. So this is in pretty darn good shape. So not a bad little profit on that one. Now, I'm going to put this earlier in the video. You're not going to notice, except for the fact that I just told you, but look, the shipping's already done. <laughs> My wife told me, you forgot another one, and so I had to go in and get this shirt. And I forgot to do two other things really quick. So $12.99 for this Hooters shirt, plus shipping right there. Delightfully tacky yet unrefined. That's a perfect motto for the Trash to Cash podcast. <laughs> And Frizzy Finds sent us this. Some super great people. We've met them a couple times. And they are just terrific. Go check them out. Look, you can even scan their QR code. So thank you for that. There you go. Had to add our stickers to your collection. We will put them up in the back. Fizzy. Frizzy. Fizzy. Lizzie. Your friends. Fizzy and Johnny. <laughs> I have screwed this up. Fizzy and Johnny. There you go. Thank you. I also forgot to say something else earlier in the video, and I'm going to put that in right now. Boy, I have no light in here. How's that look? <laughs> Terrible. So I'm going to camp listing party in June, end of June in Phoenix, and they asked me to give away five tickets to the virtual event, and I think two to the live. So we're going to give away three virtual tickets to that event. They're like 50 bucks a piece if you don't win, obviously. And there'll be a link below. You can check commonwealthpicker.com if you're in that area and want to come on by there'd be a lot of great speakers there it's not just for list perfectly folks it's for anybody it's for just a reseller event it's an awesome event i can't wait to go and meet some of y'all and if you want a virtual ticket you can hear all the speakers and you just put uh, i don't know put i don't know camp camp put camping hashtag camping down below and then contact me and then i'll put you in contact with the right people to get your virtual ticket and we'll do three of them this episode and then two of them next episode and do the live tickets as well. And I think they're offering hotels for folks who win it as well. Or you could sign up for the event and pay for it, I guess. So anyway, go check that out. Next two sales are from the hat bin. Actually, this one's from the hat bin. This one is from over here because I moved them because the hat bin is too full. And we need to reorganize the hat bin. It's, you know, when you get some decent hats at the bottom, having a hat on top of a hat is one thing. But having like 50 hats on top of another hat, sometimes... We'll misshape it a little bit. There's the other one right there. Legacy 91. We run across this stuff all the time. It's a local university and it sells pretty quick for us because you can't find it all over the country. But this is a stadium giveaway. I don't know what they call these trapper hats or something. $14 plus shipping and $19 plus shipping. And those were two separate sales, but I just figured I'd grab them together. The next one, I'm not quite sure where it came from. Could have come from one of our recent jewelry buys or it could have been from Maryland who gave us a few very generous gifts of quite a while ago at this point that we finally got to. And usually if it's Marilyn, she tells me in the comments so you can check below. And I'm not sure. I feel like, I don't know, we bought so much jewelry lately. I thought that's where it came from, but it may have come from you. So if it did, thank you. And it is, I'm going to open it up and show it to you real quick. It's hard to do that with one hand, but I'm going to do it. This is a service pin. And some of these go pretty well, especially if they're really old and they're gold. These just happen to be gold filled. And there's three of them, two little pins and a pendant. And they're 10 year and 20 year service pins from, I can't read that, I'm getting too old. That is a really small Pacific Northwest Bell. A 10, a 10, and a 20. And they sold really quickly at $55 for those three plus shipping. All right, I so, oh, I hear animals behind me. So this shirt here, it's Age of Wisdom shirt, sold for $10 plus shipping. Actually, when I bought it, I bought it in a bundle of clothes that were Affliction. Got them super cheap, like 50 cents a piece, I think. And Affliction usually does okay for me. And they're usually tattered and torn, and they look like they're super old, which is kind of the point. That's how they're manufactured. But I think what we did here was buy one shirt that wasn't an Affliction with all the rest, but it still sold for $10 plus shipping. I'll take it. Next one I had to climb the ladder for, but we got it. We're down in one piece. I saw this somewhere and I just wanted to buy something from this lady. She was super nice. And I found this and bought it. And then I found something else that was actually worth buying. But I shouldn't say that because this is actually kind of cool. And somebody made this somewhere and I just thought somebody would want to use it at some point. And it finally sold $12 plus shipping. Sold some little house on the prairie books here. If I can get it off without breaking it. And these sold for $20 plus shipping right there. I think we've bought two of these in the last year. And one of them, my daughter loves reading books. And 
She loves Harry Potter the best, but these are ones my wife read. And I think they've read them or read some of them together. I know they've watched some of the old ones too, so. All right, that's a pretty cool set. All right, Turner's got a Commonwealth comedy joke, and in light of the dogs following him in. And look at Wallen chewing on that again. You know you're not supposed to do that. All right, you got us a dog joke. What do you got? Mm -hmm. All right, what what kind of dogs can't jump higher than a building? What kind of dogs can't jump higher than a building? I don't know, what kind? All kinds of dogs. Buildings can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. There's the treat in there. You... He's been taking mm. all the treats. I know. It's outside. He's yeah, he's been taking them outside. <laughs> I don't know it's what to think of you. You're he's, smart. He's spoiled so, dog. Turner, I was thinking. I've been watching Craigslist Hunter. I've watched him for years. And he's doing this thing where people send him postcards. And he's given away a week at his like future Airbnb that he's making. His little cottage. I guess that's what it is. And I thought maybe well, people... <laughs> <laughs> Just forget him for a second. Right oh my goodness. Get out of here, you mutt. <laughs> I thought people could send you postcards and put Commonwealth comedy jokes on there and we'd read yeah. some of them and then we'd put them in a jar or something. We gotta figure out what to give away, but maybe we'll give away yeah. something. That would be after Maybe they get a head start before we know what we're giving away. Yeah. You want a treat? <laughs> Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. All right, P.O. Box fourteen twenty seven Bedford, Virginia. Two four five two three, and you can address it to Turner. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Thank you, buddy. Bye. Sophie's doing some back scratching here. All right, sales at Commonwealth Pick What do you got? Bianca and Ferdinand both got an animal man. Bianca and Ferdinand, and you said you haven't seen that movie in a while. I assume you mean no. Ferdinand. Wasn't that the, like a bull or something? Yeah, I don't know if that's what it was called, but yeah, the bull was yeah. named Ferdinand. All right. And they both got an animal man. So thank you. I know that Bianca's from New York. I can't remember if her name where you're from, but we appreciate it very much. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthsticker.com. And we sold some more of these shoes. We don't have a whole lot into them, like three bucks a piece, and they're selling for, I think all of them are selling for 20 or more, some of them way up there, but these are the lower end ones. Some brown pumps and some shiny black pumps, and they're selling, let's see, this one I sold for 21 dollars plus shipping this one sold for 20 plus shipping super super easy to ship of course in the usps shoebox because it's over a pound and as of right now we're still doing that stuff priority but we might make that shift if you watched that video the other day do you think you'll make the shift from a lot of priority to that now new UPS USPS ground advantage starting July 9th. Let me know in the comments. Now we got a gift here that showed up and it, forgive me if it takes a while to get the stuff that shows up. I, I do appreciate it very much. And this one came from New Jersey Picker and he actually helps moderate over there on the Trash to Cash Facebook, on the Trash to Cash Facebook uh, reseller Facebook group. And I want to say thank you to him, but this was especially nice of him to send me this. So he's out there wants more treats. Making good on that item I sold without getting a shot without without me getting a shot at it. This is Wendy Richter. If you guys are familiar at all with old school wrestling right there. That's a long time ago and she signed it. Enjoy the extras as well. Appreciate all that you do for this community and for being a voice of positivity. And one item in the box is 100% a bribe, a bribe for a certain baseball game. That's what this is. I had ordered some other stuff for him. So that is just super duper nice. Unless you put something else in. My wife comes in and opens this stuff sometimes and she tells me about it. She's like, you got to get through this stuff faster. I'm like, I'm trying, baby. Any rate, thank you very, very much to you. You are super nice chris i appreciate it go check out his channel thanks for hanging video. around to the end of the video i know not everybody does but i appreciate it especially today i before i say this i want to just say a big thank you to so many people there's a lot of people watching right now who know me personally who i've had the privilege of meeting and developing friendships with and i've talked to a lot extensively over the last week or so and i just wanted to say thank you to all of you for your friendship for your kindness for your wisdom, your advice, and everything. And in the end, I just had to decide, you know what, I'm gonna do what my conscience directs me to do. And that's what I've done. It may not be perfect, but it, it I am satisfied with the actions I've taken and that's the best I can do at this point. So um, I just wanted to say that. And a big thank you to everybody who I don't know out there, who you guys come into my shed every day and I just wanted to say thank you. You know, there is, I feel a responsibility 
for all kinds of things. And when I make missteps, I try to do the best I can to solve them when it, whenever possible. And it will never be perfect and everybody won't be satisfied. But the support I felt on Monday and throughout this week has been tremendous. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. As a matter of fact, it was overwhelming, the response on that Monday video to me um, and behind the scenes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I want to talk about supply huts, maybe a few other little things really quick. But I'll try to keep this short because this isn't what this show is about all the time. But it is an issue that has come to the forefront and I want to address it. I don't want to go all the way back and rehash what's already been rehashed and hashed and all that is on, well, it's throughout this week. Even this video today, you heard a little because I recorded that yesterday. And then we're putting this video out here now. So um, if you don't know the issues, you can go back and look. But when I found out that there was shortages in the bubble wrap, I, you, I'm going to just rec recover a couple little things really quick. I was on vacation I needed assurances because that's when I go into these deals. I, I want assurances so that when things happen, there are people who have the answers because I'm putting my reputation at stake. So I made some phone calls. You already know I immediately removed the links on the website and in the current videos and future videos. The past videos have not all been de-linked. I don't know what you call it um, as of yet. So that's you know, was not high on my priority list, but it is on my list. I've said this before as well. I I called Charlie. I wanted to see if I had a partner in this or if I was left hanging, right? And the initial response I got, you know, I was busy at the time. I was on vacation. I took that day off of vacation, if you will. And he was leaving on vacation. I had a conversation with him and he told me in that conversation there were not all the answers there were not any of that it was just you know we are going to face this I said okay well we'll see we'll see what happens and you know i i've removed the links of disassociated what i don't know what you want to call it i'm not concerned with the language here necessarily just with where i'm at and where this process is at and hopefully it's moving to a point where it may may be going in the right direction maybe i'm not guaranteeing anything to anybody because i don't own these companies you know i'm a guy in a shed in his backyard and we're talking about multi-million dollar businesses here multiple businesses as far as all of these companies that have had shortages almost it just blows my mind how, how much i've learned so much <laughs> way more than i ever thought i would learn about bubble wrap and paper rolls and all the stuff I'm not going to get into great deal tell about everything. I just want to make a few statements. On my end, and I haven't necessarily detailed this, but on my end, for me to be satisfied and walk, be able to walk away from this at this point, I, I wanted three things to happen. I didn't know what was going to happen or what is going to happen from this point on, but I will tell you exactly what I asked for. And it wasn't all at once. It was over a period of days. And, of course, you know, I measured my own paper rolls and tape and doing whatever and, and that's neither here nor there at this point i will just say that from the get-go i have made a commitment that you know money sponsorship none of that stuff makes a darn bit of difference to me if my reputation is at stake and that's the direction i've gone i value every person who watches this channel there are twenty-five thousand people daily who watch this channel whether it's on youtube or whether it's on facebook or sometimes clips on other platforms uh, minimum and well i shouldn't say daily i should say per show and i feel a responsibility to be honest and i feel a responsibility to be accountable when things aren't as they say they are even if it's not something that is directly in my control so i asked for three things i asked that the links immediately or the links the listings on the website immediately be taken down immediately right you know and they were taken down fairly quickly um well let me tell you what i asked for i asked for that i asked for the listings wherever they might be to reflect what is actually being shipped to somebody i didn't ask about prices and all that it's not my business but just transparency and honesty in a listing so that everybody in the marketplace can compete 
using exactly what they say they are shipping. And that is a huge problem across the spectrum, not just with Supply Hut, but with many. Um, in this case, I don't deal with those companies. I deal, I, I have dealt with Supply Hut. So, I mean, you know, I can't control all these companies. However, I do think that there is a huge groundswell and a ton of people out there because I'm getting this feedback constantly from people about, I know so many bubble wrap brands and names and distributors and suppliers and and drop shippers and all the webs and all the stuff that I, I know way too, I don't want to know anymore. I'm tired of it. <laughs> but I asked for those two things. So just to reiterate, have those listings immediately taken down. And then, you know, it would be a wonderful thing if we could have the actual things that are being sold listed. And then the other piece of the equation is what's going to happen for the folks that uh, did buy say bubble wrap because every product is not faulty i mean well it depends on who you talk to right it depends on how great of a box you want but the the ones in question um and the people who want refunds from supply hut or you know i can't control the other companies obviously and you know what was going to be done when is the customer service can be put in place and i got a few honest answers that i didn't like which is this isn't going to happen overnight this is a process this is what's going to take place it's going to happen over you know it's in some cases hours in some cases days in some cases a little longer than that and so i was told i, I that i would be seeing those things and i'm gonna say that i have sort of ish right i have seen those things but it's a small sample size and i don't know if more issues will arise but i, I those things i have seen let, let me give you an instance i asked people who had contacted me about refunds from supply hut for bubble wrap rolls that were shorted and everybody who contacted me i asked them the same thing i said when you try to get your refund please contact me and tell me how it went. And I, I think there were seven people, I could be wrong, could be six, could be eight, who contacted me. And four of them now, and some of them took a, took a little while, four of them now told me they did get a refund. Um, I have not heard back from everybody. I have not heard yet back yet from somebody who told me they absolutely did not get one. That's not to say somebody didn't. And I hope that's not the case. Um, but, you know, that's what I'm trying to give you as far as what I have been told. In addition to that, I got a message that there would be one more leg to this, not just three. And I said, well, okay, I think that's a good gesture in the right direction. I don't know that it solves everything. It doesn't necessarily rebuild trust in everything and whatever, but it's, I'm not gonna sit here and criticize something that I think is a step in the right direction. Um, and this one was a one-time use code on the Supply Hut website. And this is not for bubble wrap. And all those items have been taken down for now. I don't know when they'll be correct and reposted. I don't really know. And I, I don't know all of the postings on all of the platforms. I don't know that either. If, if they're correct, I don't know, you know, how long these things were shipped out the wrong way. I don't know any of that. I don't pretend to know any of that. And I'm going to let people decide for themselves, and certainly the next six months will tell the tale. So I think for the folks that, you know, because let's face it, and this is part of what all these companies, I shouldn't say all, because we've talked about Joel from American Bubble Boy. It's amazing. In my opinion, he's competed against so many people who are doing it the wrong way for so long, um, or what I can only assume is so long. There's only a certain percentage of people who are going to do a return who are going to demand that um, the right amount be sent. And so the fourth leg to this is actually, I think, something for what it's worth. And that is that there'll be a coupon, a coupon code, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's 50, the number 50 off. I don't have any links anymore, so you're gonna have to go find the website on your own if that's what you wanna do. If that's not what you wanna do, that's perfectly understandable. And for the products that are on there, which is not the products in question, there's going to be a 50% off coupon code. It's a one-time use coupon code. 
So if you do, if you're like me, you know, that's why I did the partnership to begin with is because I used these boxes for years and years and years because they're so light. You know, which is a criticism for some folks that don't like the box because they're cheap and well, I'd rather, <laughs> well, I'm not going to go into this, but you get the point. Okay. If you have used product that you have enjoyed and have liked, and if it is available, of course, because you go on there and a lot of things aren't available a lot of times, but some things certainly are that I think I'm trying to get Charlie's message right. I haven't spoken to him, but I read an email that there is a one-time use code that was an unlimited amount of money you could use. So in other words, let me give you an example. If you use the code, if you went on there and ordered $500 worth of boxes, you would pay $250. Um, so there's that code. I know some people can take advantage of that. Some people may not want to take advantage of that. Some people will take advantage of it in a big way. Some people in a small way. Some people not at all. But it is another piece to the equation that I think is a step in the right direction. Um, for those who want to use that, I thought I'd pass that on to you as well. And, you know, as far as I go here, you know, I don't know. Like I said, what I've done is the right thing up for the last week. I know I've, I've been, <laughs> if you know, I'll just say this. I've been physically ill over it for a week. Um little fringe benefit. I lost seven pounds. That was wonderful. <laughs> but this is, I take it very seriously and it's, it's hurt me deeply. And I, I know it's not a big deal to some people, but it's a big deal to me. And I just appreciate everybody's support and, uh, you know, keep me updated. I'm not going to keep doing this and keep talking about it for the next, you know, two months. But I will revisit it, and I will revisit it, and and check up and on on different things. And I still want your feedback. Um, I no longer am associated with Supply Hut in an official way here, but I certainly will field any questions that you have if you want to send them to me, or any information or anything like that. So at least this is a step towards I hope the right direction. I hope this changes everything in this industry. I have my doubts, but I think it's headed in a good direction. Other players in the field, people realize that trust is an issue. Verifying what you have is also something that we need to do and speak out when things aren't right. You know, I, I said this before, I, I didn't want this to be long, but you know, I like it when people, I don't like it. I, I want to hear if, if there's somebody that I have used as an affiliate link and there's an issue, I do want to know about it. I'm not pretending I can solve all the problems. I can't. But I want to know about it because it informs me in the future and in the present of the right actions to take. And there you go. So I appreciate everybody's support out there more than you ever will know. You know, I, I focus on the, the two, three negative, just hurtful comments that are attacking me over something um, and I focus on those I shouldn't but I do and you know the overwhelming amount of support was amazing so I'll call it a day at that and I appreciate you all as always for stopping by all right we are at the end of the video and as always I want to thank everybody but just a, an extra shout out to my wife who's been helping me out a lot lately I haven't talked about it lately but I've I don't talk about it throughout the video, but I'll tell it to you folks here at the very end because you're dedicated here. I've not been feeling well at all lately, at all. And my back has given me tremendous trouble. I haven't had this trouble in a long time. And so those two issues have really slowed me down quite a bit. And anyway, I just want to thank my wife for all she's been doing. She's been shipping in here almost exclusively. I look around and see if there's any hard stuff. And today it's easy stuff. I'm really happy because... Um, she's just been doing a lot. So thank you to my wife out there. I appreciate you.